Hey guys, it's here, our Sue interview the Lee Pin Legwick DC Superheroes Speed Force Freeze Pursuit. So, this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, it's recommended for the 6 and up, and comes with 304 pieces, and this is set 07093. So, comes with 4 mafix, and the 4 mafix are the Flash, Cyborg, Killer Frost, and Reverse Flash. Um, as you can see, there's uh, two typing errors here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's intentional or it's... Uh, it's really a mistake, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's a mistake. But the the box art here looks pretty cool. You have the Justice League at the corner here, and they change it to uh, League Legends, which is a weird name. So this is the top of the box. Uh, it shows off the main figures, and uh, there's also the carrying handle which is very nice so this is the side of the box both sides are the same they show you this front box art so this is the back of the box uh, it shows you all of the features and also uh, it shows you that it comes with these power burst pieces so um, that's pretty much it for the box so inside the box does come with this long tray. So this is the instruction manual right here. As you can see, pretty simple. You have the number bags, and here is the where the sticker is supposed to be. And I removed it. Um, so there's uh, there's some sticky stuff here. And this is the final page of the build. Shows you the features of the cyborg copter. And this is the back. Um, it shows you the the back of the box. So yeah, that's um, pretty much it for the instructions. So the first me figure right here is the Flash. Uh, so he comes with two of these Power Blast pieces in uh, yellow, which is very nice to get, and they do kind of work. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely great. But yeah, so. His helmet here, you have the yellow kind of years right here. You know, the helmet mode here looks pretty cool. You have some access paint here, which does kind of suck, but it's fine. So, under his helmet, you got uh, this happy expression, and his alternate expression is this uh, kind of confident face. And for the torso print, you have the flash logo in the middle. Uh, you have a little bit of his suit detailing with the belt and you have uh, this lightning around uh, his body and there's no leg printing for him the back torso print you just have more of the lightning detailing and you have the belt and yeah Aside from that, that's pretty much it for the Flash. Second minifig right here is Cyborg. So, he does have his helmet piece here, which is pretty cool. You have the cybernetic eye, you have the blue dot on top. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but you have his hair here. And yeah, looks pretty nice. And under there, his expression is this kind of smiling expression. So, his torso print here, you have, uh, I guess, his logo on the chest here, and you got um, his belt part with this red thingy. And yeah, I guess the suit detailing here looks really nice, and this is the back. You have his alternate expression, which is this kind of battle-ready expression. And you have more of his suit detailing with the silver detailing, and yeah, looks really cool. And I like the colors for him. So, yeah. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for Cyborg. The third main figure right here is Killer Frost. Uh, so, she does have accessories, but I'll show you uh, all of her accessories later because there's quite a lot. Um, so, she does have her short white hair. And uh, her expression here is this smiling expression. For her torso print, you have her shirt right here. You have the Killer Frost logo. Yeah, for a belt with this kind of star right there. There's no leg printing for her though, but uh, her alternate expression is this angry expression, very angry expression. And her back torso print, um, you know, you have the belt right there. Uh, this, I'm not sure why the camera is showing purple, but this is supposed to be dark blue. And I'm not sure why these two dark blue colors, they are not the same. So, 
yeah, uh, that's a little bit weird, but it's okay. Uh, so yeah, that's um, pretty much it for Killer Frost. Lastly, this is Reverse Flash. Uh, so he comes with this energy infuser type thing, uh, which you can hold it. And yeah, here you do have this printing right here. And yeah, this set here comes with the blue one. And all of the other sets from the same wave uh, will come with different colors ones. So yeah, that's just that. So for his helmet right here, you have the this red ear, which looks pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, the helmet piece here is a really nice mold. And for his face right here, you have this kind of blank expression. And for his torso print, you have his logo, you have the belt. Um, there's no lightning around him like the flash, but yeah, uh, this is his alternate expression Which is this angry expression with the red eyes and stuff and you have the belt printing some linings and stuff like that But aside from that, that's pretty much it for reverse flash So these are killer frost's accessories and they are these power burst pieces and um, Yeah, they are pretty accurate um, I mean, it looks pretty cool. It's just that the color tone here is not as accurate as the original LEGO version, but it still looks fine. So here, for Killer Frost, you have this ice propulsion tough thing, you know, uh, it, to make it look like she's flying. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty cool. And you have these straight blasts, and you have uh, these spiral ones, they look nice. And you have these handheld ones as well. You got this big shield right here. And you have this smaller shield. And there's two more on her vehicle, which I'll show you later. And yeah, all of these, they, they are a little bit more clearer than the original LEGO ones. I guess they use less plastic. I'm not really sure. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for all of the Power Burst pieces. So these are the builds right here, so let's start with Killer Frost's car. So this is Killer Frost's car right here, so let's start with the front. So the front, you have this bulldozer blade right here, which you can move up and down and uh, from left to right, uh, which is pretty good. And you have the sticker with the ice right here, which is very nice detailing. And here you have uh, this engine exhaust type thing, which looks okay. And you have these four wheels, uh, which work pretty nicely. And here, uh, the driver's seat, you have the steering wheel, you have this backrest, you have this small windscre windscreen type thing. And uh, the back here, you have this canister type thing. Um, not 100% sure what it's supposed to be though. Uh, but yeah, the back here, you have this exhaust type thing uh, with this uh, power burst piece. So, yeah. And on the other side, you have this uh, ice cannon with two of these stud shooters, which they do work pretty nicely. And yeah, they fire. So that's definitely great. And at the bottom here, you have uh, this cannon that fires out the ice burst. So yeah. And uh, this cannon, you can move it up and down, but you can't move it uh, from side to side. This is the bottom. You do have these slider plates. And yeah. Aside from that, that's pretty much it for Killer Frost's car. So the second build right here is the Cyborg Copter. So let's start with the top rudder. So um, it's a very long piece. Uh, it's two of these blade pieces and they do look pretty nice together. And they do spin very nicely. So yeah, that's great. You have uh, two of these red studs right here. You have this uh, metallic silver dish piece, which is very nice to get. And for the cockpit, you have uh, this windscreen, which you can open up. And at the front here, you do have the heads up display, which is cool. And you can open it up and inside, you do have these lightsaber blade pieces, which, yep, they look pretty nice. You can put in Cyborg, he fits in there pretty nicely with this divider piece. Uh, there's no studs inside, so you can kind of lean him, lean him back and he fits in there pretty nicely. But it's just that there are some gaps here, so... Yeah, uh, at the front here, you have this ball joint piece. I'm not sure why that's there, but you know, it's there. Um, so for these side parts here, uh, this first one, you have this net shooter, 
which you have this net right here so yeah it's a pretty nice piece so you can just put it in it's inside this plain engine uh, piece and you just push this part and it fires out the net but I won't try to use uh, this net shooter to try and catch all these uh, figures because it's really hard and yeah so on top here you have this radar piece so you know I guess that's cool and you can remove it and put it on cyborg's uh, hand if you want to uh, give him some accessories and on the other side uh, you have this uh, stud shooter there's two of them one of them doesn't really work it just kind of um, pops out the stud a little bit and the other one pops out the stud as well but it pops out further uh, and you can remove this part if you want to because it's clipped on and you have this metallic silver uh, grill piece which is really cool as well and you can put uh, these two stud shooters on Cyborg's uh, hand to you know give him some weapons I guess and yeah the rest of the helicopter here it looks pretty cool and at the back here you have two of these exhausts I guess in metallic silver uh, so there's quite a lot of uh, metallic silver parts you know so that's very nice to get and you have this thicker piece right here with this grill piece and at the bottom here you have uh, this landing gear which you can kind of move up and down and you have uh, these slider plates in red and at the back here you have this thicker it's on both sides you have um, this tail rudder which is a printed piece you have this stud on top you have this slider plate at the bottom and yeah you have uh, these more of these exhausts uh, so yeah that's that and aside from that I guess that's um, pretty much it for Cyborg's helicopter so here's how Cyborg looks like with uh, these accessories on and yeah he's a very heavy minifigure if you put him standing without a base plate he will just fall off very easily and these uh, accessories here they just look oversized so yeah but aside from that that's pretty much it for uh, cyborg holding the accessories so overall conclusion of this set here so how do I think of it well, for the figures themselves, I think they are great. All of the prints for them, they are really nice. And all of the molds for them, they are all made. So, yeah, I think the figures, they have no problem. And for the builds, uh, for Killer Frost's ice car here, it works pretty nicely as well. You have the stud shooters, they work really nicely. And uh, for the Power Burst piece, um, yeah, it's great that they molded that piece and it looks very accurate. And for uh, Cyborg's helicopter, you know, it also works pretty nicely. You have the stud shooter. One of them doesn't work so nicely though, but uh, that's okay. Uh, and for the net shooter piece, uh, it works fine. It doesn't work so well, but it works fine. And um, yeah, it's a pretty cool play feature. And for the rudder, I mean, yeah, it spins pretty nicely. So overall, all of the builds here, you know, they work really nicely. And if you really want this set, I definitely recommend you getting it because the quality control of this set is great. And yeah, uh, if you see the Shingon version, uh, I'm not really sure if you should buy it or not because I haven't seen a review of it yet. Uh, so just to be safe, you should buy the Leapium version. So. If you want to buy the set here, I'll put a buy link to it down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you very soon.